Have you ever wondered how to get the colors of your video footage to the next level? Today I want to talk about LUTs and how you can use them correctly to get your video footage to the next level in your color grade. See for me personally, I have created my own personal LUTs that I use for my own footage to achieve the color grade that I want to, to make sure it stays with the aesthetic that I want to have within my videos. And some of you have noticed my latest LUT that I've created for myself that I've been using for the last couple of months and I wanted to talk about it today. See the importance of using LUTs, it can help or make your footage become better or it can really just ruin it if you don't do it accordingly. For me, the color grading that I do with my LUTs is more about having a nice base set when it comes down to having that color grade on top of my footage after converting it from S-Log3 to Rec. 709 to make sure that I get the most dynamic range for my footage and try to use, you know, the best color grade that I can within, you know, Premiere Pro for where I edit my footage. Using LUTs can be very great for your videos, but it can also definitely be a harmful thing if you tend to overdo it, which using my creative own LUTs that I've been creating for myself has helped me out to achieve the look that I want to have for my cameras without kind of breaking and damaging the image as much as possible to make sure that I get the most cinematic kind of feel to my footage. So I created this LUT called day and night LUT, which have been using for literally my day and night type of videos that I usually use for my Sony camera, which is with a S-Log3, so converted to Rec. 709 and then applied with my LUT, and then I do my editing. No LUT will ever get you to the 100% position into where the final footage will be, but it, you wanna have one that does the right thing to get you to the right starting point, which is what I've created for myself when it comes down to this LUT. And I wanna let you guys know that it's going to be available if you wanna support the channel that way. And I'm gonna be putting it for just $8, which it gives you two versions of it. And you're welcome to use it however you would like to when it comes down to putting it on your footage and seeing how you can create some cool new, I guess, edits and color grades with it. And that would be really cool if you wanted to support the channel that way. But if you can't, I totally understand, which because I know everybody out there has their own presets and LUTs, but this is one way that helps to continue to create these videos and how much I've been enjoying them and a way to give back as well to have something, you know, from the support that you're giving to me to use for yourself as well. But also with that being said, with all the support that I've been getting before, and if you want to purchase one of my previous LUTs that I have, they're going to be on sale that if you get my previous LUTs that will be on sale, You'll get this new LUT for free, so it's a little bit of a way to give you back, which I'm going to be having it on sale up until the end of the Black Friday area, up until that Monday, kind of Cyber Monday time. So if you're watching that video before, you know, that Cyber Monday ends, you'll be able to get this sale for you guys, and hopefully you'll be encouraged to get it and support the channel this way. And it's a little bit of a way for me to give back to you guys for the continued support since we've been growing the, the YouTube channel pretty nicely and I appreciate every single one of you guys. But now, back to a little bit more of the reasoning for this video. See, when it comes down to a lot of the color grading for myself, the way that I do my method of making sure that my footage looked as cinematic as possible is working with light as much as possible so that my LUTs just pop even better. Because no matter how great your LUT might be, if you don't have the correct footage within your camera because of the right settings, maybe the lighting and everything like that, your image won't look as nice as maybe mine might look whenever I was filming a certain type of video that the lighting just looked right. So that's something that I want you guys to consider when you're looking into LUTs to use because sometimes people get frustrated that the image that they saw within the previews of the LUTs that people are either selling and stuff like that doesn't come out to be how they are doing it with their camera. This is one of the reasons why. Everything's going to be subjective to light and everything, how you use it with the type of settings that you put into your camera which I'll give you a little bit of a hint of what I usually do for my S-Log3 footage. Whenever I'm shooting, I'm making sure that my exposure compensation is about 1.3 plus to 1.7. Rarely do I let it go to the two plus because sometimes it can clip a little bit if you let it go too much, but that helps me make sure that I get the most dynamic range for my image without losing quality within it. Now, I also make sure to have the best and as accurate of white balance that I can have in camera so that whenever I go into post, I'm not having to damage Damage too much the image going back and forth with the white balance since these cameras can't shoot raw and you kind of want to get it as close as possible despite having 10-bit color. So for me, my usual goal is to get it a little bit cooler in camera because with the LUT itself, it'll make it a little bit warmer in the right way, which you can fiddle with it a little bit here and there, but that's usually what I do for myself because it's the image that I want to achieve. 
And finally, whenever it comes down to using it in Premiere Pro when I'm editing, I usually make two adjustment layers where the first adjustment layer, I do my Rec 709 conversion LUT. So that way I can bring it from S-Log3 to Rec 709. And then from there, I have my second adjustment layer on top of it where I go into the creative tab of the Lumetri color tab where I add basically my creative LUT. That's what allows me to have the most kind of range with my editing and everything. And then I go ahead and do my basic adjustments within the actual footage itself on the file of it and the Lumetri tab, and then just go ahead and basically have my final footage. So these are some examples that I've been able to use my own personal LUT, the day and night LUT recently, whenever I've created some videos with it. And that way you can see some examples of the before and after. But this is the importance of using LUTs the correct way, because in reality, if you want to have a level up of your game when it comes into your color grading and just footage itself, learning how to expose everything correctly, getting the, the best lighting that you can while using the right LUTs can make your footage stand out even more. So with that being said, consider that when it comes down to any LUT or from anybody that, that you're wanting to purchase and everything, and just try to get as much as you can of knowledge of how they shoot their footage in a sense to make sure that it'll work out for you if you're trying to get those type of LUTs. Personally, I try to make my LUTs that work with any camera itself, whether you're shooting with Canon, Nikon, Sony, Fuji, or anything like that, because at the end of the day, I'm going off of more the Rec 709 image after I've been converted. So try to do that as much as possible to make sure that it's more a base tone of colors. Cause then from there I can adjust my, basically my contrast. I can adjust my highlights and, you know, shadows and everything within the actual image itself, rather than mess around with the colors too much. And then, you know, basically the white balance if needed be. Hopefully this will help you out when it comes down to the importance of using LUTs correctly to be able to create your, you know, videos to make it more cinematic if you're wanting to leveling them up. I know it can seem like a shameless plug when it comes down to this video, but in reality, it's something that I believe that if I want to invest in myself as my own sponsor kind of content, if you will, within my own videos, there's a reason why I want to promote it because it's something that I use for myself daily. If you've been seeing my latest videos and the color grading, you've been enjoying it. That's the LUT that I've been using for myself. And I thought it'd be a great time to, in a sense, be able to give back as I release this new LUT for you guys to experience if you're choosing to support the channel this way as a way to give back for your support, whether you're watching the videos as long as you have before, whether you're day one or, you know, day whatever that you've been joining into the, the good old department here of the channel as we keep growing. And I just appreciate every single one of you guys for being here. So hopefully you'll be enjoying the LUTs and, uh, you know, creating your great content. I would love to see your before and afters whenever you get the chance to. But with all that said and done, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe to this video. The friend will catch you guys in the next one. See ya.